Willow Peters was one of the Mi'kmaq athletes carrying this traditional Mi'kmaq birch bark canoe front and center. It's, I think it's pretty big. It's pretty cool. It wasn't that heavy. They're members of the Buckingag Nation participating in the upcoming North American Indigenous Games and this Nag Canoe Relay, which stopped at the Buckingag Nation. Nine athletes represent the community. Peters is 13 years old and will be competing in Nag for the first time. I've only just started doing like track this year and I've gotten pretty good at it and I'm really excited to like compete against other people and meet new people. The relay is traveling to Mi'kmaq nations throughout Nova Scotia before the games begin in July at the Millbrook Nation and Jabuktuk, where over 5,000 athletes will compete. It's the first time the event is being held in Mi'kmaq. Uh, was, I was part of the bid, so it was really exciting to be part of that and get the announcement that we were doing it. Um, so it, it's just been an amazing journey. I, I didn't know, I gotta be honest, I wasn't sure, but uh, it was really great when we actually had that official announcement to be able to have it here. The traditional birch bark canoe represents the Mi'kmaq who traveled great distances on the waterways. Today, the canoe relay connects Mi'kmaq communities and showcases the athletes. Corey Julian, chief of Buckingham Nation, says sports is good for the youth. It plays a big part in our, our kids' uh, well-being and growing up and, you know, makes them successful in life that, you know, and, and sports do, sports does that for every kid. So I think every, every child in the community should have the opportunity to play on a rec, play recreation. So that's something I'd like to see more of. About 60 community members attended the event. Nag swag was a hit as lunch sizzled on the barbecue and little ones enjoyed the day. Julian is looking forward to welcoming other nations. You know, it, it, you know, it was really putting our, our territory on the map. A lot of people don't know we're down here in the East Coast and they forget, you know, the, there's Mi'kmaq settlement here. The canoe relay continues to two more Mi'kmaq nations and will end up in Jabuktuk, known as Halifax, on July 7th. Angel Moore, APTN National News, Buckingham Nation.